Hey everybody, it's Connie Stewart. Thank you guys so much for joining me for tonight's YouTube premiere. I'm very excited about tonight's project. I've got eight cards lined up for you tonight. Eight! Oh my goodness, we're going to be busy stamping. Hey, I want to give everyone an opportunity to get logged into their YouTube account before we get to stamping. I am over in the chat room. I would love to be chatting with you tonight as we go through tonight's premiere, but you do need to be logged into your YouTube account to be able to actually chat. So make sure you do that. Now, if you've already logged in, but you haven't subscribed, this would be a great opportunity to hit that great big red subscribe button. You can't miss it. It's great big and it's red. Uh, yeah, click that and that way YouTube will let you know whenever I have a new video up. And if you want to get that live, like a real quick little ding notification, a little bell, there's a bell in the upper right hand corner. You can click that too and that way YouTube will let you know immediately whenever I've got a new video up. Hey, so yes, we are going to be creating some really great stuff tonight. We're going to be using the Painted Seasons Bundle. Now, for some of you that follow Stampin' Up, you may be going, never even heard of that. No, you haven't. It's actually very brand new. Uh, this is part of our celebration. So the bundle we're using tonight, wait for it, you can only get for free. Ha! Huh, what's not to love about free, right? Yes, this is a bundle that Stampin' Up! is offering through Celebration. So when you place a $100 order, and you can do that at simplysimplestamping.com, shameless plug, uh, you can actually choose the Painted Seasons Bundle for free. Now, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about that, what comes in that bundle. So stay tuned for that. And because we're doing free, let's do a little bit more. If you choose the Painted Seasons Bundle on your order from simplysimplestamping.com, I'm actually going to give you a bonus. So I've got about, I think there's about 14 or 15 tutorials waiting for you. And these tutorials all use the Painted Seasons Bundle. Do you love it? Do you want more free? I love to give free. So be sure when you place your order that uh, you use simplysimplestamping.com for your order so that I can give you those free tutorials. All right. Well, let me show you the cards we're going to do tonight. There's too many. I can't even hold them all. <laughs> yes, we're going to be creating eight great cards. We'll be using uh, the designer series paper that comes in the bundle. We'll be using the stamp set. And we're also going to be using something brand new. And that is a set of framelits. Now, these will be available on March 1st, but they match the stamp set. Do you love it? All right. You know what? I want to go ahead and get started. Oh, I should mention one other thing. So yeah, all these cards, all these measurements, all this, you know what? Relax tonight. Have some fun. Don't worry about jotting all those down. I'm going to have all the measurements and all the details about these cards, and it will be at simplysimplestamping.com tomorrow, February 28th, 2019, and it'll be at 7 a.m. So just go get your beverage. Let's get to stamping, relax, have a good time. All this will be available for you tomorrow. So you ready? You ready? I got my coffee. I'm going to need a lot of caffeine to get through eight cards. So I'm going to head over to my stamp table. Let's go. So I want to explain how the Painted Seasons bundle is going to work. So celebration is going on right now at Stampin' Up! And I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that. And hopefully you've had a chance to take advantage of it. Stampin' Up! released a second release. And so we have some new products that are available for celebration through the end of March. And the one we're using tonight is the Painted Seasons bundle. You can see we have this incredible stamp set and... I said it's a bundle. It also comes with the designer series paper. Let me show you. One thing you may have noticed about the stamp set, this is part of our distinctive line. Can you see how amazing these images are? These they aren't just your ordinary stamps. So if you're not familiar with the distinctive stamp line, let me tell you what Stampin' Up! has done. And it's a brand new process that Stampin' Up! invented. Pretty cool. And what they have done is they've taken actual photographs of flowers, leaves, pine cones, and then they took those photographs and turn them into stamps. And guys, the images that we're going to get from these stamps are off the charts. So as I mentioned, this does come as a bundle. So you can see this is the designer series paper. Absolutely beautiful. We have nice big bold images on one side. On the opposite side, you have just some really great patterns. Uh, this is one of the things I love about designer series paper is that if the pattern or if the design isn't quite what you want, there's usually a nice pattern on the other side. Uh, guys, I do want to mention that you're going to get 12 sheets, so three of each uh, pattern here. 
Now, how to get the bundle. When you place a $100 order with Stampin' Up, and you can do that over at simplysimplestamping.com, when you order $100 or more, this could be one of the items that you can choose for a $100 order. So yes, you're going to get the stamp set and the 12 sheets of designer series paper. Now there is a little add-on bonus that I want to point out. This is a set of framelits called Four Seasons. Guys, fabulous set of framelits that match the stamp set. Now this is available for purchase, so this is not part of celebration, but I did wanna point out this incredible set of framelits. So think about it. You get the framelits, you add the stamp set, and of course the matching paper. That is really an amazing collection. Everything's going to work together, and of course, it's all season. Let's go over the supplies you're going to need to create the eight cards tonight. Yes, we're going to use one of each of the sheets from that Painted Seasons bundle. My card bases tonight, I've got eight and a half by 11. We're going to score these and cut these in half, but I have Soft Sea Foam, Crushed Curry, Poppy Parade, and Whisper White Thick. And for our stamping tonight, it's only going to take us two sheets of Whisper White cardstock. We'll be able to do everything we need with just those two sheets. The first thing we need to do is to cut and score our card bases because we need two of these. And the scoring is going to be the same for all of these. So remember, we have a cutting blade and a scoring blade. Let's get the cutting blade out of the way. We're going to take our cardstock and I'm going to score it in half at four and a quarter. I will rotate the cardstock around and now I'm going to cut it. And remember, it's always best when you push your cardstock up against that block and cut up. This way your cardstock doesn't try to shift on you when you cut. Let's go ahead and repeat that with all of our cardstock. Well, I shouldn't say all. We just want to do that to the remaining three pieces because our Whisper White we're going to be using for stamping. So let's get all our card bases prepped. And now for our designer series paper. So what I want to do is I want to cut four inches off of one sheet, just one. I will rotate that around and now I'll cut it at five and a quarter. We'll cut another one at five and a quarter. This is scrap, save it for something else because it's too beautiful to toss. And you can see I now have two uh, layering pieces for two of my cards. Now guys, we're gonna repeat that with all four patterns and that way we'll have eight pieces of designer series paper when we're all done. Paper four by five and a quarter, eight of them ready. I have eight card bases ready. I'm going to go ahead and start adhering. Oh, it just breaks my heart to even put snail on this side of this gorgeous paper. But so on my two Whisper White Thick, you can see I've got this petal pink kind of burst pattern. And then here on this, uh, on the remaining Whisper White, I've got this wonderful kind of pool party. We'll put that one on that. Okay, those two are done. Let's keep going. On our crushed curry, let's adhere our mushrooms and our pine cones. On our Poppy Parade, we're going to go with these two patterns. All right, we've got those two. And so, of course, our last ones are these two patterns, and this is going to go on our Soft Sea Foam. Card bases are ready to go. I'm also going to be using some linen thread just to make my cards a little extra special. So I have eight small bows for all eight of my cards. So those are all tied, ready to go. Our ink pad colors for tonight, we'll be using Petal Pink, Pool Party, Mint Macaron, Poppy Parade, Crushed Curry, and Early Espresso. I really went back and forth on how to go about sharing all the stamping and the die cutting. And I think this is going to be the easiest way for me to show you. This is everything I'm going to do on one piece of the Whisper White. This is our regular Whisper White. And I wanna point out, we're gonna be doing some die cutting and I will be using the stitch shape framelits. Now you can use these, you could also use uh, your oval layering, your circle uh, layering, or your square layering if you have those. Either one of those will be great, but I decided to go stitched. 
And it will probably be best if you go ahead and just die cut everything. So I've got two large squares. I've got a large oval. I've got the second two largest circles. I've got two of those. And I have two of the ovals. This is the third or the second from the smallest, I could say. And then I have one of the smallest circle. And then this one here is a banner. And this is cut three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches. So, or I believe it's three and three quarters, forgive me. And we can just cut that off. You can see there's plenty of extra here if you need to redo anything. I would recommend go ahead and just die cut all of your pieces and then we'll do the stamping. Now this is the other piece of Whisper White and this is where I did all of that gorgeous stamping with the stamp set. Beautiful, isn't it? I told you that uh, distinctive stamp line is gorgeous. Now I will show both of these um, these layouts. This will be available at simplysimplestamping.com Thursday, February 28th uh, at 7 a.m. So if you'll head over there tomorrow morning, if you're watching me live, you can see this tomorrow morning. I'll be going through each piece as we create the card because I have a couple special ones here I want to show you. But that is going to be the layout of your stamping. Well, let's go ahead and talk about how to stamp with the distinctive stamps. I'm gonna start with my Petal Pink ink pad. So remember, these are the cling stamps, and what I love, it just doesn't take a lot of effort. So when you go to ink up a distinctive stamp, just think it's a very delicate image. So we wanna treat it delicately. I don't wanna pounce this on my ink pad because I don't wanna get ink down in all the little beautiful crevices of the image on this stamp because there's so much detail, we don't wanna lose it with a lot of ink. I always like to say, kiss the bunny. Just lightly tap it on your ink pad. And we're going to start by just stamping here in one corner. Now, I'm not using a heavy pressure, but I do wanna make sure I'm getting at least pressure all around the stamp so that when I lift, look at that. I wanna zoom in. Can you see the detail in that stamp? That is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna clean this really quickly because now I wanna come in with the Pool Party ink pad. And just as I did before, I'm gonna kiss the bunny and I'm going to stamp this three times, inking, each time, and now one in our poppy parade. Everything with that stamp is done. I'm now going to work with this little bit larger flower, a little bit rounder flower. Guys, I'm sorry, I don't know my flowers, so I don't know what the name of that flower is, but we're going to stamp this one in the petal pink. I've inked it up in petal pink, but I'm going to give it a little something extra. I've got my early espresso ink pad and a sponge dauber. I'm going to lightly add some ink on my sponge dauber and I'm just tapping it there to the inside of my flower. Look what happens when I stamp this. Just as we did before, we don't want too much pressure. And that looks terrible. It seems I did not clean off my stamp. Let me clean this one more time. Yep, it happens. It happens that I just did not. I must have missed cleaning that the last time. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Let's see if this one comes out a little more pink. Oh, look at that, it looks so much better. All right, but what I want you to notice, look at that really cool shading. Isn't that pretty? All right, now, I have early espresso on this stamp. I have to clean it, and I'm going to stamp one more of these. But for right now, let's pretend that one looks amazing. All right, we're just gonna go with it. All right, so we're going to repeat that exact same process in our poppy parade. So, kiss the bunny. Tap on our early espresso, give it a nice press. There we go, very nice. All right, those three flowers are done. I'm, I'm completely finished with this one. Let's clean the stamp so I don't do that again. Now remember, I'm going to have all of these to show you, so no, I'm not going to stamp everything, but I wanted you to see how those um, images turn out, and then I wanted to teach you this technique. I now wanna share with you uh, this one, what I did here. This is, this is pretty fun. First, I'm going to ink it up in mint macaron, and I'm going to stamp one, two, the third one, you see I'm just going to leave it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna clean my stamp so that we can do this fun technique, 
And for this technique, we're going to use crushed curry. So I'm going to ink up my leaf in my crushed curry. Now I've got a mint macaron sponge dauber. I'm going to ink that up and I'm just gonna tap along the edges just to give it this little bit of green. I'm gonna huff on this to kind of revive the ink and then we can stamp. And look at that, isn't that pretty? And that's gonna be perfect for our fall card. The pine cone, again, perfect for a fall card. We are going to stamp one and two. Notice we get a little bit lighter version of it. I'm going to bring my original back in. I have got 10 leaves here in mint macaron, and then I have three crushed curry, early espresso, and uh, the poppy parade. And one last thing, we've got these three little ones. Let's stamp three of those in one of the corners. Remember, you may have to spread it out depending on how all your images came out, but hopefully everything will fit on the one sheet of designers, or uh, uh, Whisper White cardstock. Now you notice the Painted Seasons stamp set does not have a sentiment, so I needed sentiments. I decided to go with the uh, Cling stamp that says Strong and Beautiful. Guys, this has a lot of really great sentiments in it, and I thought it was just perfect for all seasons and um, with just the beautiful designs. Those beautiful fonts work so great with the stamp. So we'll use Strong and Beautiful tonight. So I had you die cut two squares from the stitch shape framelits, and we want to go ahead and ink the sentiments. By the way, all the sentiments are in early espresso, so that's gonna be easy for you to remember. And for this one, we're gonna go here in the bottom right corner. So you can see I've already stamped this one. Now I wanna do my remaining. So I'm going to ink up my leaves in mint macaron. I'm going to have the stem going to the upper left corner. We'll start right there. I'm not going to re-ink. I'm going to stamp again and then rotate and stamp one more time. I love the softness that gives. So you see, we've done that to both of our squares. And now you can kind of see I've gone ahead and done my stamping and my die cutting for all of my sentiments. Now I know a lot of you are familiar with the die cutting. I just want to give you a quick lesson because everything will be all on one, we can just come along. You can cut them out individually. You can cut out, you know, one or two at a time, whatever you want to do. But let's say we just wanted to cut those apart like that. I've got my Big Shot platform, my thin line adapter, and I have a cutting plate. We can now line up our framelit with our stamped image, place another cutting plate on top so it's sandwiched in between and then run that through the Big Shot machine. And what comes out is a perfectly die cut image. So we have die cuts for everything. So all of these images can all be die cut with the matching framelit. So let's go ahead and take a moment. We'll get all of that die cut so it's ready to go and we can start putting our cards together. We'll start right here. And I have stamped You Are Loved Completely and our die cut images. Now, what I think is going to work best here is I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to run that all along the back of my sentiment. And I'm going to start with a small one there and I'm just gonna kind of build. I'm not gonna press anything down really tight. You know, I just don't want it to stick down too well because I may wanna play with it a little bit. So maybe I'll put two right there, two of my larger leaves. I'll take my remaining one there, and then I've got our two little small guys. How about there? That looks really nice. Now, I'm a dimensional girl, so let's flip this over. I'm give all that a good press, and I'm gonna come in with dimensionals, and I'm actually going to use those dimensionals to kind of stick these together. So I'm kind of looking for spots that need a little, <laughs> like that one right there that I just stuck to. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of adhere those down with dimensionals. I want my sentiment straight, so let's make sure we have that good when you're happy with it, and I think I'm happy with it. We'll give it a press. And this is a trick I've shared with you before, but we're gonna take a mini glue dot, and I'm just rolling it into a tiny little ball. I'm gonna put that right here on the edge of my sentiment, and then I'll take one of my linen thread bows and add it 
right there. Guys, really sweet card. Card number one, done. Let's move on to the next one. This one used the largest oval. I may have said the second to largest, but this is the largest oval. Now for this one, I am going to go ahead and just adhere my sentiment down. I also want you to notice when I stamped it, I did stamp a little bit further down. We're gonna be filling up this space. I've got my three flowers in three colors, and then I have my stems or my leaves. We are going to attach a leaf to the back of each one of the flowers. So about like that. I've put a few dimensionals on the back of my red, or my poppy parade, <laughs> and we're gonna add that one right there. Now for the uh, petal pink, I'm actually just going to adhere it, but let's put a leaf on the back first. And I've just placed snail on the back of that one. Let's go right there. All right, last one just as we did before with some dimensionals. And we'll add this one. Oh, let's get that leaf going upward. All right, gorgeous. Let's add our linen thread. I've rolled that into a little ball and our linen thread bow right here on the edge. Now for our poppy parade. We'll start with this one here. I'm going to rotate it this direction. Again, let's make sure I have it straight. So for this one, I chose my sentiment, keep reaching for your dreams, I'll keep cheering you on. I've got two of my flowers, these are those softer ones, remember we put the centers in them, and then those three leaves, remember I did stamping, stamping, and then I stamped off. So those are our three images. I'll adhere my sentiment to the bottom right corner. I'm going to place a lot of adhesive on the back of the petal pink, and I'm going to adhere these three leaves. And we're just gonna spread those out. So I've got the softer one there in the middle, about like that, wanna make sure those are good. Now we're gonna add just a little snail on the leaves here because this one is going to lay flat on our card. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it just slightly. I just, let's do something different. We're gonna tuck it behind the sentiment and now for our remaining, let's add dimensionals. We'll add that there. Now for our linen bow, and that will go right there. Beautiful. How about a Mother's Day card? So this is the little piece that I said you're going to cut down to three quarters by about three and a half, three and three quarters, whatever works. Let's go ahead and we're gonna adhere that down here at the bottom of our card. Again, I wanna make sure I know what direction my card's opening. Let's put our Happy Mother's Day there. My sentiment, God made you my mother, love made you my friend. We're gonna center that in our card. I've got dimensionals on the back of this flower. This is that last petal pink. Do you see why it's so nice to have everything stamped, cut, and all that is ready to go? It just makes it kind of nice that when you get to the creating part, you're all stamped and done. Now let's add our linen bow. You know, I love to work with the linen thread. It's, just, it's so soft, it's very inexpensive, a little goes a long way, and my goodness, is that not a beautiful Mother's Day card? Let's work on the two soft sea foam cards. We're gonna start with to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. And then I've got one of my pool party uh, flowers and two of my stems. I'll start with my sentiment down here in the bottom right corner. We'll add the stems. You guys have seen me do it. We're gonna add our stems to our flower. Now let's put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And obviously we want to hide that so I know right where to put that flower. And of course, our bow. This card is going to go together just the same way as we did the last one, only we're going to rotate it this direction. Our flower, we have our dimensionals, and we'll add that one right there and our linen bow down in the corner. This is a super simple one. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. This one was done with the second to largest circle framelit uh, from the stitch shaped framelits. I'll get it out. And we're going to adhere that and that beautiful uh, little sponge technique. Let's add dimensionals to ought to do it. We can add that there 
and my linen thread bow is actually going to go here at the base of my leaf. I just think that looks really sweet. We're on our last card. Thanks for always being there for me. And guys, thank you for always being there for me. You're always so sweet about tuning in to subscribing, to leaving me sweet comments. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's add our sentiment. We have those two pine cones. I'm going to put snail adhesive on one, dimensionals on the other. You guys know I just love to add a little dimension to a card. All right, we're going to do that now. With these three leaves, I've put a little snail here on the stem, and I'm just going to adhere these together like so, like just a little, little bouquet, a couple dimensionals on the back, add that, and our last linen bow right here. Perfect. Oh my goodness. What did you think? Let me kind of bring these back in. So there's our two crushed curry, our two in the soft sea foam, two in poppy parade, and finally our two on whisper white thick. Eight cards, very little designer series paper, just a few sheets of cardstock. I think these turned out gorgeous. Yay, eight cards. Wasn't that a lot of fun? I really enjoyed creating these. Now, I hope that you noticed uh, the benefit of having everything stamped, then doing all my die cutting, and then putting everything together. Probably one of my favorite reasons why I do that is I tend to, if I have too many ink pads open when I'm stamping, I go and I lay a card right in the middle of an ink pad. Yep, done it too many times to count. But it also is a benefit because it's going to keep your ink pads from drying out because we're gonna get all the stamping done at once, close up all those ink pads, then we do all our die cutting, then we do all our adhering. So it's kind of nice to go assembly line with this one. Now, when you earn this bundle, you're gonna have enough designer series paper to make 72 cards. That's a lot of cards. That's nine sets. And by the way, a set like this is gonna make a great gift. I think some of my most popular gifts have always been a collection of hand-stamped cards. So I highly recommend um, creating a set like this and creating several so that you have gifts on hand. But don't forget, when you order from simplysimplestamping.com, you're going to get those bonus tutorials. So you're gonna have even more ideas. Oh my gosh ideas coming out your ears. And this is going to be a really great collection for you to add to your stamping stash. All the measurements for tonight, pictures of the cards, because you're going to want to see those. Remember the pictures uh, that I shared with you on the eight and a half by 11 with how everything was stamped. All of these things are going to be available for you tomorrow. That is Thursday, February 28th, 2019. It'll be up at 7 a.m. tomorrow, Central Time. And you can head over to simplysimplestamping.com and grab all the measurements. I do recommend that you take maybe your mobile device, your iPad, your laptop, and take that to your stamping table so that you have that right there. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. Be sure to mark your calendars for March 13th, 2019. That'll be my next YouTube premiere. It will be at that special time of 5 p.m. Thank you guys for being so gracious and allowing me that change. I actually was cast in a local uh, community theater production of Noises Off, and so I have rehearsal at 7 p.m. So uh, until mid-April, we will be starting at 5 p.m., but when the show's over, I'm back at 7 p.m. I like being on to all of you who chatted with me tonight. Thank you so much. I had so much fun being on live with you. That is it just, it's just a dream. I can sit there, I can type, I can chat. It's so much harder to do that uh, when you're trying to stamp eight cards and try to chat at the same time. So that was wonderful. Uh, just a big mwah to all of you who chatted with me tonight. All right, my friends, that is it for me. Thank you again so much for being here. We'll see you guys again on my next video. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.